Uganda Airlines has officially commenced a commercial operations with two flights taking off for Nairobi and Juba, respectively. Our reporter Samuel Sinano was aboard the Juba inaugural commercial flight and our report. It is a scene Uganda Airlines jetliners will have to get used to in these first days of the resumption of commercial operations after a long hiatus. At Juba International Airport, government officials led by Uganda's ambassador to South Sudan and the CEO of South Sudan Civil Aviation Authority were in place to officially receive Uganda Airlines flight UR-122. I'm really very happy uh, for the resumption of Air Uganda to South Sudan, we have been longing for all these years. Southern Sudanese citizens will be happy to enjoy this flight. They were also awed by this latest Sierra J900 jetliner from Bombardier, which is currently being flown by Uganda on the African continent. I have never seen such the aircrafts. The public should notice this because the plane who are landing CRJ at the same types, either 100 or 200. This is now the third series I have seen and all that thing. So I really admire the type of these aircrafts. In one of the latest, one of the latest plane, I cannot doubt on, on this issue. Uganda Airlines country manager Moses Chisembo also revealed that the reception among the traveling South Sudan community has so far been noteworthy. So, so far, I've uh, sold tickets, they are spread, not like on one flight, eh? they are spread, and now so far I've sold like 50. I've sold like 50, and for me I'm impressed because I can access the system. When I access the system, initially, you could see that you have economy zero, uh, business is zero, but now you can find economy five, business one, economy on another flight is ten, two. So it shows that people are responding, people are trickling in, and people are booking. Shortly before takeoff, we caught up with some of the passengers who had booked on the return flight to Entebbe. So happy and so grateful to be the first, you know, to uh, use uh, Air Uganda. Uh, I can see that this really brings a you know, benefit to the two countries, not only two countries, but to the uh, African continent. From Uganda, so when we have such an airline, it, it is really proud for us. Uganda Airlines will have two direct flights from Entebbe to Juba, and right now a return ticket goes for 180 US dollars, a price that is very low if you to compare to what other airlines that ply this route charge. But experts in the travel industry based in South Sudan argue that it will need a lot more than just slashing the ticket prices if Uganda Airlines is to break even in this rather competitive market. We are not necessarily going to go for it because it's cheap. Cheap is not what is going to cut it. So for the next two months, yes, there is cheapness. But how good is that service going to be? And I think for Uganda, that's something they need to really put forward. Uh, as for me, who will want to fly tomorrow? Yes. It may be that cheap. It's a cheaper right now with most of the airline, $100 and below, lower than what Rwanda is offering and all that. But is it worth me losing $100 and being inconvenienced for the service? But again, they have the upper hand. Uganda, uh, our brothers and sisters who live here across with us here, they, they make, I think, if I'm not wrong, the second biggest population of foreigners who are in this country. So you already have a very huge big number of people that wants to go directly home. On top of that, I will want to say Uganda is like a second home to most of us here in South Sudan. South Sudan is one of the leading trading partners with Uganda in the region and the airline plans to take advantage of these existing trade ties. Samuel Sendono, UBC News.